This video note introduces you to using CSS and external style sheets. When you store style rules in an external file, you can configure the color, text, and layout of multiple web pages all at once. In this example, we'll create an external style sheet named color.css and associate it with a web page. The color.css file configures global style rules for the page, including background color and text color. CSS is the file extension for external style sheets. The web page in our example is named external.html. External.html is similar to web pages you've already created, but there's one new element, the link element. The purpose of the link element is to associate the style sheet with the web page. Attributes in the link element are rel and href. REL equals style sheet indicates the relation is a style sheet. The href attribute is the file name of the style sheet file. When you display external.html in a browser, it's going to pick up the styles, the red background and the white text color from the style sheet. If we edit the style sheet, such as changing the background color to blue, the web page will automatically show the new styles when it's refreshed or redisplayed in the browser. In this example, we only associated one web page with the style sheet, but we could associate many pages. A change to a single style sheet file will affect all the web pages associated with it. That's the power of external style sheets. 